are you? We are Venom. English actor Tom Hardy has portrayed his share of enigmatic troublemakers on screen, be it villainous characters like Bane, Al Capone, Bronson, or even the anti-hero Venom. And while many actors tend to shy away from continually playing bad guys around Hollywood, Hardy's always believed that villains are the most fun to portray. Maybe that's because his own past is littered with run-ins with the law, not to mention a crippling substance abuse issue that threatened to end this talented young man's life before he ever got the chance to prove himself as one of today's greatest actors. That's right, long before Tom Hardy was ever wrestling with a parasitic alien symbiote, his biggest battle was with himself. Edward Thomas Hardy was born on September 15, 1977 in Hammersmith, London, England. Tom would be the only child born to his parents. His mom, Anne, was an artist and his father, Edward, was a comedy writer and novelist. From very early on in his life, Tom was already finding himself in heaps of trouble. He was sent away to boarding school as a child, but wasn't exactly a model student. In fact, he was eventually kicked out of school after being caught stealing athletic uniforms from a school locker room. Can't blame you. If you see some nice Nikes, you gotta grab it. After getting expelled, Tom was hitting the bottle at only 13 years old. Before long, he was in more trouble than ever. His foolhardy days, if you'll pardon the pun, came to a crescendo when he stole a Mercedes and went for a joyride with a pal of his. When these two eventually got pulled over by the cops, things went from bad to worse when the authorities found a gun on Hardy. If Tom's buddy hadn't been the son of a diplomat, things could have gone much differently in his life and career from that point forward. Once was, you know, I would never steal a car because why, why would I steal a car? I went to a nice school. You know, my parents are well to do and and i think afterwards i got off that actually but, um, but you, you had stolen the car yeah and you are what you is <laughs> while hardy would continue to battle against his demons of drug and alcohol addiction throughout his teenage years and into his adult life it would never stop him from pursuing his passion for acting after spending some time at the Richmond Drama School, Hardy would move on to the prestigious Drama Center London, which has a reputation for being a very different kind of acting school. How different? While speaking with IGN back in 2002 over the reputation the school has, Hardy told them, The center's probably written as notorious and infamous because it's about terror. And the terror is actually about honesty. When other schools would be doing sort of 30 hours, we were doing 60. While attending the center, Hardy was personally trained by Christopher Fetz, the man who once taught Anthony Hopkins when Hopkins himself was a student there and whom Hopkins loosely based many of his mannerisms for Hannibal Lecter off of. Despite finally finding a place nearly as eccentric as he himself was, Hardly wouldn't spend all that long at the center before dropping out. That's because a series of crazy events would take place that would help launch his acting career. In 1998, Tom took part in a modeling contest on the British morning show, The Big Breakfast. This would actually wind up being his on-screen debut, and Hardy not only went on to win the competition, but also introduced us to his love for Gary Oldman. Tom would like to write and direct his own short films, and he says he loves Eddie Izzard, but hates football. That's right. Having won himself a modeling contract, Hardy considered pursuing a series of different career possibilities, the weirdest of which is definitely Definitely that time in 1999 when he released his first and only rap album. I swear, I can't make this stuff up. Tom Hardy was a rapper. Yes, Tom Hardy once dropped a mixtape titled Falling on Your Arse, a project he recorded with his buddy Edward Tracy under the name Tommy Number no. One and Eddie Too Tall. And yes, in case you're wondering, Tom has more or less disowned the album since its release, admitting that it's not very good. It's all good, Tom. We all have that rapper phase. <laughs> Since his rap career was apparently dead on arrival and he never really had any interest in modeling, Hardy stuck to his acting guns. But shortly after beginning his career at the center, he dropped out when he was offered a bit part in the Steven Spielberg produced World War II miniseries Band of Brothers. Why are we fighting the war, Janovic? It seems that the Germans are bad. Very bad. In that same year, he would also appear in a small role in Ridley Scott's Black Hawk Down before landing the part as the lead villain in the film Star Trek Nemesis, where he played an evil clone of John Luke Picard. What is all this about? It's about destiny, Picard. It's about a Riemann outcast. You're not Riemann. And I'm not quite human. This would come to be a crucial period in the young actor's life because it was after this breakout role that Hardy's addictions truly got the better of him. By this point, Hardy had become addicted to crack and the drug was wreaking havoc in his life. Not only would it be the reason that his first marriage would end in divorce, but he also began passing out and waking up in strange places. He once told Men's Health, In a blackout, I could end up anywhere. I might wake up somewhere the other side of London, or in another country, or in bed with someone I didn't know not knowing how I got there. 
bleeding. That last part sounds especially bad, but it wasn't until a crack-induced collapse on a busy London street that Hardy finally decided to enter rehab and turn his life around. In 2003, Hardy checked himself in and told Men's Health about his mind state at the time. I didn't want anyone to know I was out of control, but I couldn't hide it. I went in thinking I'd do it for a little bit until I can go out and drink and people forgive me. But I did my 28 days, and after listening to people who had been through similar circumstances, I realized I did have a problem. With his life back on track, Hardy had to get to work re-establishing himself in an industry where his reputation had begun to precede him. Over the next few years, he spent a lot of time on stage, working with his playwright father on projects like Blue on Blue, while also appearing in the film Stuart, A Life Backwards, which would earn him a Best Actor nomination from the British Academy of Film and Television Arts. First, he booked his first major film role playing the heavy in Guy Ritchie's Rock and Rolla, and then he followed that up with his mesmerizing performance as Charles Bronson, Britain's real life most notorious criminal and violent prisoner. Shut your Ooh. mouth! No problem, Charles. Shut the bruh! You cunt! Hardy's performance was a tour de force and had Hollywood beating down his door once again. After that, Hardy would go on to star in projects like Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, where he had finally got to act with his biggest idol, Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman is my hero, that's it. You know, he's like, right. I, 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 he, I, He'd also star in films like Warrior and This Means War, but it was his collaboration with filmmaker Christopher Nolan on Inception, The Dark Knight Rises, and Dunkirk that would help turn Hardy into a household name. Following these box office juggernauts, Hardy's Hollywood career was solidified. In 2014, he'd marry English actress Charlotte Riley, and they'd subsequently have two children together. Then in 2015, Hardy not only starred in one of the most popular films of the year, Mad Max Fury Road, but he also found himself nominated for his first Oscar opposite of Leonardo DiCaprio in The Revenant. More recently, Hardy has re-teamed with his father to co-create the television series Taboo on FX and also launch his very own franchise as the titular character in the Venom film series. What the hell are you? We are Venom. On second thought, please. As for the rest of Tom Hardy's story, well, I think I'll save that for another time in another place. After all, this is before they were famous. Let us know your thoughts on Tom down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. My name is Clyde Smith, and I'll see you guys in another video.